Yo guys, what is going on? I'm here bringing you guys back into the X and Y live Wi-Fi battle here today against my opponent Tula. I uh, tweeted out I was looking for a battle and it's a guy. His name is Joe Brindley. Okay, it's a guy. I was gonna say, I was like, he's got a he's got a girl icon for his Twitter and a girl and uh, this. I at first I thought it was a girl, but no, it's not. So we're bringing back some more Wi-Fi battles. We got PU this uh, day as well. Let me just... Ooh, this is just... Ooh, I'm sorry for being so professional, but I never once said that I was professional. All right. So if you guys enjoyed the video, though, give it a thumbs up. It's where Channel 3 itself, and it literally does not take that long. All you have to do is... That's all you gotta do. Just a click, and it helps the channel and everything else. So it would mean a lot to me and you. Plus, I also become, like... 5% more black the more times you give the video a thumbs up. As well as let me know the comments down below. Let me know down below which Mega do you prefer out of the ones that were revealed today. Either Mega Beedrill, uh, Mega Pidgeot, and then I guess since they were officially announced, Mega Latios and Latios. We already knew that they were Megas way back early this year, but, you know, they're not officially released. So let me know which one do you enjoyed of the Megas that we got the revealed today. Personally, mine is Mega Pidgeot. I love the fuck out of Mega Pidgeot, and everyone else was really going nuts about Beedrill since how powerful it is. And I already like regular Beedrill before Mega Beedrill, so I like I like Mega Pidgeot. It definitely deserved the Mega, and it really just come to touch my heart because I remember hitting it on Route One right after playing Pokemon Red, and we get just the gorgeous and lovely, the gorgeous and lovely Pidgey finally evolving into this. Though, of course, what's its face? Um. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Anyways, my opponent brought this team. What's he got here? He's got quite the annoying team, actually. He told me that he wasn't the best at PU, so he apologized, but it's all for fun. It's all for fun. I don't come to actually, like, win. I just come to play for fun, you know? But looking at his team, though, I feel like he's going to probably lead off with either the Yanma or the Torterra, because no one else really is a viable lead. Hell, maybe even Dedene. I uh, just try and give Volt Switch initiative. I'm gonna lead off though with my Sneasel though. Sneasel does have knockoff, fake out, and priority ice shard. So Sneasel just hits like a truck. He hits like a truck, and I really like Sneasel. Sneasel is one of my favorite Pokemon as of late in PU. He's just been really doing it for me. Except in that last battle that we saw, ladies and gentlemen, where Sneasel could not even get a kill. But I'm gonna go out to my Sneasel and lead out with Sneasel. As he's gonna be leading out with the Torterra, like I expected. Unfortunately for me, I think the only ice move I have. Yeah, the only ice move I have is Ice Shard. I have Pursuit for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why I have Pursuit. I feel like I should have Ice Punch over the Pursuit. Maybe even Low Kick. But I have Pursuit, so it's a weird Sneasel set. I don't think he's staying in, though. He's probably going to go out to the Arbuck. Because uh, Intimidate. So, he's actually going to stay in. Okay. I have absolutely no idea why he stayed in. Let me calculate real quick. Uh, let's look it up real quick how much Sneasel can do damage onto this Torterra because I don't want to just go for an Ice Shard and then get bodied, you know? But then again, he could put up the- ooh. Oh, if you think about it, all I need this Sneasel for? Oh shit. All I need this Sneasel for is to get rid of whoever puts up his rocks. Okay, let's remove the Life Orb. Uh, Ice Shard is 61%. Oh my goodness. I don't know how I just lost HP. How the hell did I lose H- Is he Rocky Helmet? I actually have no idea how I lost HP. And now my sash is broken. And now I can't sack it because of Yanma. God damn it. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out. My wall core is absolutely destroyed by Torterra. I literally have no save switching. I do not have a save switching at all. I don't have a save switching at all. I don't have a save switching at all. Oh my god, I don't have a save switch in at all. Oh my god, I don't have a save switch in at all. Oh my god, I don't have a save switch in at all, man. I'm gonna, I, I got cheese a quick attack. I'm fine. I'm gonna go for the ice shard. Ice shard does more damage than knockoff. So I'm gonna go for the ice shard. As he does stay in, I don't really know why, but he's just, you know, kind of letting his rotator, you know, take it. As he's gonna go for the EQ, that's gonna Oko me. I just don't understand how. I He got a crit. I don't, that didn't matter at all because the earthquake does one on one. Uh, 101.3, okay, DWB, but basically, Earthquake does about 101%, so it didn't even matter at all. Uh, what I'm gonna do is go to Mischievous, though I probably should have gone out to Mischievous in the beginning. I don't really know why I did not go out to Mischievous at all, actually, because I have Will-O-Wisp. Actually, I, yeah, I pointlessly just sacked my Sneasel. I have Will-O-Wisp. I was not thinking. I was not thinking at all. I don't think a Shadow Ball is gonna be able to kill it, though. Let's look at it up real quick and see if it is. I actually have no... Was he Rocky Helmet is what I want to know. I want to know is, was he Rocky Helmet? 
Shadow Ball does run like 33%, so Shadow Ball actually would probably minimum damage to 28, so we probably would live this Shadow Ball. I actually have no idea how. That confuses me pretty hard. Uh, that confuses me a lot. I have no idea how the hell I got damaged, because my Sash should have been intact, but it wasn't. I don't get it. I just... I does not make any sense to me at all whatsoever. It just does not make any sense to me. No, it does not. No, I'm going to go for the Willow. Thankfully, I do land it. Really hoping he does go for the Wood Hammer. That way that he can't get up the rocks. Oh, God! Mm. He told me he was not good at PU. Bro, you're pretty good. All right. Well, he's got a pretty decent team, too. Substantial fighting weakness, but two resistances and an Intimidate user. So what I'm going to do now is just go over the Shadow Ball, kind of just knock it out. I probably could have knocked it out before getting up the rocks. I don't have a spinner, so having the rocks up is very, very, very good for him. So I probably should have not done this. I'm just over-predicting a lot. I sacked off my Seasonal and I just over-predicted going for Willow. I expected Arbuck. I'm not going to lie, I expected Arbuck. I've been expecting Arbuck way too much. So you just sort of left in this Torterra, you know? I I feel like maybe that went wrong because I over-predicted it. Now he gets a free switch up to Rodent. Hello? Was it a physical Dedene? Because I'm especially defensive as hell. I have no idea why this thing just came out on me. Oh, he's physical! What the? Ooh, is he life orb? Oh my god! Choice banded? Maybe? I have no idea. All I know is that did way more damage than I expected. Jesus! I could easily get a, uh, a free switch. Add onto my Flareon right now. I easily, easily, easily could. Uh, but then again, I don't. I don't want to do that. I gotta take this thing in my mouth. That's just gonna get out of here. Maybe he expected my Flareon is gonna go out to the Arbuck. Cold as ice. Oh, I should have gone to Flareon. Oh, I should have gone to Flareon because I went out to my March Tom. Ah. He doesn't have anybody that can get rid of rocks as well. Oh. Uh, I really need this thing as well. I really need it. I can't stay in. I really, really, really need that thing for the Arbuck. So I gotta get out of here. I literally, the last time I brought this team yesterday, I just kind of threw guys together. I probably should have brought a different team though because the team really isn't the best. And uh, he's actually gonna make a double here. Uh, he's gonna double out into boost me. He's gonna go out to the Yanma. I don't really know what he expected here. He may have expected the Earthquake here. Uh, had that had this have play had have happened, I could have put up my rock and that would have been okay. But I guess that did not happen. So what I'm gonna do here is hopefully get out to Toxic, which I do. And Flare End is really specially defensive, so should be able to eat up any hit that he has. Having no Ghost types, I should be able to tear through his team with this. He can easily protect here and kind of get some Toxic damage to roll off. Maybe high roll for Bug Buzz or A slash flinches. I don't really know. Just hoping that this fucking Yanma doesn't really. You know, rape me, because I don't want to get destroyed by this Yanma. I really don't. Look at this Yanma. Yanma, 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 Yanma. All right, so I went for the facade here. I'm just waiting on my opponent now. Because facade does destroy his team. He's actually going to get out of here, and he's going to go out to who? Rodin? He's going to sack off this thing. Okay. I don't really know what he kind of expected. He maybe expected me to set up. Had this have been the case, I probably could have flame charged. Ooh, I should have flame charged. I should have flame charged. Well, Flareon is decently fast. It's pretty fast, and it outspeeds everybody on his team, but the, uh... It outspeeds everyone- actually, it outspeeds everyone on the team, but the Yanma and Glaceon. So I don't think he's gonna bring out Rinka. Okay, he's gonna bring out this thing. That's fine if he gets the Intimidate. I have superpower, so I don't give a fuck, nigga. Let's go for superpower right now, because Crunch will not destroy me, and at least I'll be able to tear through a hole with his team. So I know Crunch will not destroy me. I know that it won't, right, Flareon? I know it won't. I know it won't. Crit! <sighs> what item is that, Mighty Anna? <sighs> yeah, Crunch does, uh... Try to move Life Orb. Crunch does 62%. I could have lived that. I f no, I... Could I? Let me think about it. Uh, yeah, we'll live with, like, 2%. That's stupid as fuck. <laughs> That's so stupid. I mean, I get free rocks now. 
I just think that's really stupid. I think that's really stupid. Oh, I'm so upset about that, you know? I'm so upset about that. It was a crit. Actually, I don't think that crit may have mattered at all. I don't see what item he's holding. That's why I don't ma that's why it doesn't matter, and I'm pretty sure he's timid. Cause Flare and base 65, Mighty Yenna, 70. If he runs max speed, because I am jolly. If he runs max speed, he definitely outspeeds me. So what I'm gonna do is get up my rocks here. Uh, I know that he's definitely gonna pull out of here. Maybe straight out to the Yenma, because rocks are obvious. He's gonna go to the Yenma, okay. So I feel like Yenma's gonna be very irritating. It's gonna be one of those baton passing out to the Oh, this bitch just got Giga Drain! Yeah, I know these guys carry Giga Drain, so what I'm gonna do is get out of here and go out to Mischievous. I'm really hoping he does go for the Protect, because if that's the case, then I can get off a Pain Split off on this Yenma, so... Really hoping he does go for the Protect, because I don't want to get any unnecessary damage right now. I'm in a very bad situation where I sacked off Pokemon that could have been very versatile and useful, and my Flareon just got quitted on. So, things are not looking too good for me, but he's going to stay in because I switched out first. Marshop is slower than Yenma, so he's going to stay in. What's he going to do here, though, is the question. Uh, he's gonna bug buzz. Come on, eat it up! Cause if I don't eat it up, it's 2KO. Oh yes, I eat it up. I eat the fuck up out of it, alright. So what I can do here is I now can get off a pain split. Oh my god. Let's get a pain split going. If he swaps out, I get pain split. I just want you to know, and if you swap out, you take times four rock damage. So this thing will literally be under half. So, oh my god! Everyone on his team- Cold is Yo And I'm especially defensive. I should be able to eat up any hit that he gives me after the pain split. Yo <laughs> No I won't. Can I live a hit from this area is what I wanna know. I don't know. Yenma's not really a problem anymore, cause rocks. I'm fine with that. He doesn't really have anyone to get rid of rocks as well. Maybe the Yenma has defog, I don't know. I'm I outspeed! Wow, okay. Did not know that I had sped. If I could take out, I... oh my god, he support Glaceon. Oh my god, he's not offensive. I've never seen support Glaceon ever. Good play, very good play, very good play. Uh, knowing this, so it's a free switch to Mighty Yen. I'm gonna go for the Wish. I mean, I'm not gonna go for the Wish. I'm gonna go for the Willow Wisp. As he actually um, outspeeds, so I can just get a Pain Split off as he brings it. Oh my god. Okay, that was a good play. Uh, if I had Flareon, see, Flareon would have been such a great switch in on this guy. Flareon would have been easily a great switch in, you know? But definitely, definitely, definitely what I can do here, though, is now I can get off a Pain Split. It doesn't even matter if I'm toxic because I get off a Pain Split helping with the burn as well. I literally thought that he was going to pass that Wish on, though, to his Mighty Ana. It would have been a really good play had he have done that. So far, I've only killed Dedenne and Torterra, though. And uh, he's killed two of my mods, so we're kind of even. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for the pain split. And if you hear that, that's like the heal that just went on. So if you don't hear that, I probably removed it out. But I'm going to go for the pain split here, get back more HP. And I haven't seen him go for an offensive move yet. So here's the ice beam. He's definitely known. Now I notice he's probably physically or especially defensive. As I can eat up two more of those. But with toxic rolls, I feel like I can only eat up one more. So... Uh, yeah, looking at that with Toxic Rolls, with the Ice Team, I know that I can live that, but I'm probably gonna die. Now, he may go out to, I really don't want him going out to Mighty Anna, but I feel like, okay, he's not gonna go out to Mighty Anna at all. Okay, so I get a free Shadow Ball off on this, hopefully it's like a crit, a special defense drop. Yes! Alright! As, uh, he's gonna go for the Wish again. Oh, this thing is just really pissing me off. <laughs> this thing is really pissing me off. I've never seen support Glacian. That is really different. That's really different. I should be able to kill from this range, but now Mighty Anna, I'm pretty sure it's coming out. Actually, I don't care if Mighty Anna comes out. I kind of. Oh my god, he just stayed in. You're dead. Special defense drop? Stab? You're dead. Oh! Um Please burn, kill it. Burn? Burn, go first, burn, go first, burn. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. 
I needed to accept reality there for a second. I needed I needed to accept reality. If my mischievous outspeeds and hell the fuck yeah, cheese outspeeds, I just I just didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't know what just happened. That sucks a lot. I got a special defense drop. Come on now, stab shadow ball after the special defense drop from that rate. I feel like that was absolute min. Let me calc that up. He's gonna withdraw cold as ice and bring out who to sack off. Uh, with Glaceon, yeah, Shadow Ball does like. He's gonna go out to this guy, so yeah, Intimidate K. Okay. Oh, that's why he never passed it on, because Medina is healthy. Okay, well. Oh my lord! Good god! Cheese, don't mess around! Now we quick attack and kill it, because Sucker Punch will not go first. Cheese is faster, so. Alright, so we took care of that. Uh, I'm looking at this damage though. Shadow Ball 44%. What the f. Hold up, let me do... Boop. Alright, let's try that now. Yeah, 34! That was Absolute Min was 29. <laughs> absolute Min was 29! Alright, I, I did get Absolute Min. My cheese outspeeds everyone. After rocks, that Glaceon should get bopped, and it outspeeds that. So basically, cheese is my win, is my, is my win check. He's gonna go out to boost me. Look at that damage boost me is gonna take. You was right! All right, so I actually have no switch ins for this guy at all. I don't have a switch in at all. Now I want to see who's actually faster. Is it Pikachu or is it Yanma? Yanma! Yanma's faster by like five points. So I want to look to see what a quick attack does. Extreme speed does like quick attack does like forty max. Yeah, you're dead. Die. Take care of it, buddy. Minute min thirty-five. So don't get min. Good game. Uh. Um. Good game. Good game. Good game. <laughs> what just happened? Minimum damage a second time. I calculated it up, ladies and gentlemen, right here. 35 to 41%. 35 to 41. Quick attack on a Yanma. Again, but that's a little, that's a life with the yeah, it's life orb. Yeah, that's what he has. I don't understand. I don't understand anything anymore. I just don't understand anything anymore. He probably has Giga Drain, so he's got Bug Buzz. Okay, I should be able to take that. Um, I just probably won't take it as well as I thought that it would. Yeah, okay. I'm just mm, right now. I'm just mm, right now. You know, I'm just mm, right now. I need to see a victory bell outspeeds that because if. Uh, 70 compared to Glaceon, which is 65. Okay, so it does outspeed. Uh, the only thing that I can kind of do is... Oh! Why would he bring this guy out? I mean, that's fine if you get the attack drop, but I don't understand why you... Oh my god, he's got Air Balloon! I so lost this match. I lost this match, and I'm like kind of upset about it, you know? I'm like just a little bit upset about it because... My mons just were not on my side. I feel like I will probably never use his team again because anytime I use his team, like Sneasel last episode didn't get any kill that he was supposed to kill. Min has been a minimum da minimum damage has been on my side lately, and I have not been getting max damage. So that's definitely a thing. If he's gonna go for the coil, sort of expected. Hopefully he misses the gunk shot though. I think it raises accuracy, doesn't it? Does it raise the accuracy? Oh my god! So. Okay, Earthquake probably would have done a lot of damage to this guy. I'm, not, I'm talking about a lot of damage. So, is there like some way where he could miss this too? That'd be great. That'd be great. Oh, he's got Poison Jab instead. Can I take that? Eat it! Eat it! Eat it! Eat it! Eat it! Oh! You were Sprite! Oh! Oh! I don't even care if I was poisoned. What? What? I just got that Earth. I'm so done. Look at that, he lived. <laughs> He's got me fucked up. Alright, that kind of sucks. Uh, that kind of sucks. You know, that just kind of sucks just a little bit. That, that kind of sucks a little bit. I didn't get I didn't get, get the kill because he got the coil up, so I'm not even complaining about that. So, there goes that. And then with Sucker Punch, I feel like he may go for the Sucker Punch. I don't really know what this Arbuck has. I want to see Quill, and I don't know. Let's check. I'm going to calculate it out quick. 
Our box. Are you Quill? Uh, let's go Poison Jab instead. No, let's go. Su yeah, Sucker Punch is about like 40. Okay, so yeah, it should be fine. Today I don't feel like doing anything. All right, so what I'm gonna do is let's go for the Weather Ball. Should I go for Sunny Days? The question. Poison Jab. How much does Poison Jab do? Poi. Zun. Jab. That is like 50%. Yeah, I'm not risking it. I'm just gonna KO with the Weather Ball. He outspeeds? What? Oh, our book has got like 80 speed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, good game. Good game. That was a good game. That was a good game, I'm not gonna lie. That was a good game. That art book just had me all messed up. So if you guys enjoyed the video, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know how you felt about it down in the comments down below. And uh, with that being said, I'll catch you all guys later.